Hi, today I'll be reviewing the Smart Weight High Precision Microgram Jewelry Scale. The model is GEM50. Okay, now the reason I bought it is because my micro electronic scale broke down recently and um, I was a unable to um, measure things that's less than one gram. So I have the electronic scale that can measure to one gram. This one can go all the way to five kilograms, and so is this one here. I believe this is also up to five kilograms, but it can only measure one gram. But I have no way of measuring anything below one gram. So I decided to buy this small weight. Today I'm going to show you uh, what's inside this box, and then uh, what my um, overall impression of it is. I'm going to show you why I actually bought it and how I'm going to calibrate some of my instrument. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have this uh, smart weight high precision micro grams Dooley scale. It comes with a nice box and let's open it up. One thing I like about this um, micro scale, it's reasonable price, it's around $40, but what's neat about it is it comes with a nice casing. I don't know what this, this material is made of. It looks like it's kind of like foamy plastic, but it definitely protects the equipment here. Okay, Inside of this uh, weight, my electronic weight, you have, first of all, they have a way to cover it so that, you know, in case it's bouncing around, like protect uh, from the shock, so that's good, has that. Then it comes wrapped around a plastic. Okay, let's get that out. And within that, there's actually another casing here. Allow you to see, open it up, break it. Okay, let me just show you close up view of this. You can open it this way. There we go. So it protects the actual plate itself. That way, you put your weight on. That's good. The battery is included. I already put it in there. Come, it goes with it uses um, four triple A batteries. Let me show you right now when I open it up. There it is. Okay, uh, four triple A batteries. You turn it on, and what you get, of course, is the reading. It's set to zero. Now they come with the one thing I like about these is that they come with a twenty grams weight. Okay, so you can calibrate the instrument right away. So let's try it out and see what happened here. Uh, gently open it up. There we go. Oops, see. Be careful. Um, let's press tar to set to zero again. There we go. And then put the weight, the 20 grams in there and see it will reach. There we go, 20.005, which is okay as long as the 0, .00 is within that um, limit I'm okay with that the last digit is usually not reliable anyway okay so according to the manual is plus and minus 0 0.003 I think okay so I wouldn't rely on that last uh, digit uh, the third decimal places however the first two should be reliable okay, let's try another um, weight calibrate weight of 20 grams see if this is also 20 grams and it said 20 point zero 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 eight again okay so now like I said the read the last reading is not very uh, precise because last time I when I um, weigh it it's around uh, point it's twenty point zero 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 three so okay so that's why I said don't rely on the last digit there which is good enough that it's able to record you know at least two decimal places to me that's pretty impressive okay so the next thing, once I know that, that this is actually about 20 grams, okay, then I'm going to use this to calibrate these two instruments I have right here. Now before I do that, I want to show you quickly what is included. It's included with this uh, special tweezers. It's nice, actually, very beautiful tweezer. Wow, very thick in terms of metal, and so it's um, well built. What else? There's the batteries. Now I didn't take it out, the battery yet. Um, this is, what kind of battery? Is this alkaline or just regular? Uh, carbon zinc or the heavy duty. What did it say? It didn't say what type of battery it is. Oh, super heavy duty. That's great. I love super heavy duty. You know, I know alkaline is uh, last longer, but you know, in my experiments, I love now to collect these carbon zinc batteries 
because I can get so many material from it. You can watch my previous video on how to take apart once it's used up, right? Once you uh, you know use these type of battery up, then you can take it apart and you can use so many parts in here, like the carbon uh, rod, the uh, manganese dioxide, and the even the steels that's around it. Okay, uh, so many use, and of course the zinc itself, the zinc um, uh, casing, which is awesome. Okay. That's included. Um, the manual is in here as well. Show you. Let's bring. Let's turn this off for a minute. Okay. And okay. So you have the batteries, and then you have the manuals. There we go. Uh, let me see. The manual. Generally, I would look at it to see how to calibrate properly. It's in uh, English, and uh, as well, I believe this is. It's not. Definitely not French. This is, it looked to me like this is Spanish. Okay, so it comes with a Spanish. And, oh, actually other language as well. Okay, um, Germany is in here, I think, and French. Okay, so pretty good that it has a uh, different language uh, in here. It comes with this three casing pan. It's a made out of plastic. Okay, so this casing pan is made of plastic. The smaller one, medium side, and then the larger one. This is great because you know if you're putting something very fine like a powder or even a small drop of liquids, you can use this to pour out. It comes with a little handle like that, and then you have a spout here and you can pour it out. So it's pretty cool. Like that. Okay, now the only thing is I wish they had a some kind of spatula, that'd be great. Uh, especially if you have some kind of powder you want to put into the plate. So it's not included, just the tweezers included. And that's about it. I like the casing and everything there. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is, this is these two are quite important. That's why when I buy them, I make sure that they have some kind of uh, calibrated weight. This calibrated weight mass is 20 grams. And then you can use it to um, calibrate other instruments. For example, I have this one that's uh, uh, is able to weigh 5 kilograms and uh, the increment is 1 gram each. But this thing is, I noticed that it's only accurate to 1 gram to 200 grams. After that, it's not as uh, precise, okay? So let me see, I'll turn it on. Now ideally, this should be 20 grams, right, these two, because we already weigh it on the electronic balance, okay? So this one is showing that it's 20 grams. So let's see if this is actually 20 grams. Ah, see, if you look at my weight, it said, let me just turn around, let me show you, 20 grams. So it's really good, okay? So let me take this out and place it, and it should be 20 grams as well. Yeah, good. And then I put two together, it should be what? 40. Perfect. So I know that this instrument here, the one I have, um, is uh, properly weighed. Okay, so it works perfectly. It's saying that's 40 grams. So I wrote down that this instrument is liable from 1 gram to 200 grams. So that's great. This instrument here, the uh, digital micro scale, it's only allow you to measure up to, if you look at the back, 50 grams. This is why I have other scale here. This one can measure up to 200 grams uh, from 1 gram to 200 grams more precisely. So I have an instrument that can measure less than 1 gram. I have an instrument that's going to measure from 1 to 200 grams. Then I have an instrument here. You see already, notice it's fluctuating. See I noticed this instrument, you put it in 40 but you wait a minute it's 41. So it's very important to note that because that means that if you wait too long this instrument will change and uh, so Make sure you, when you measure, so you have to know your instrument, right? So I'm, when I'm measuring this, gotta make sure I have to measure within one minute, otherwise the scale will move up a little bit so it will be 41. So I know that, gotta measure it within thir uh, one minute or two minutes before it changes this, okay? So that I know about this instrument. Know its limits, right? Now let's look at this one here. Now this instrument, according to my uh, calibration previously, it can uh, read 200 grams to 1,000 grams, even though this can measure up to five kilograms or 5,000 grams, but I can rely uh, rely on it up to 1,000 gram or one kilogram. And apparently it's um, plus or minus one, uh, two grams. Let me see if it's true or not, okay? If you can measure these two, 20 and 20, I, 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 I'm, I'll be very happy. See, this is right. I wrote down that it's plus or minus one, two grams. It's saying that this thing is only 20 to 18 grams. Okay, let's look at this one here. 18 grams. You see that? So I know that there's something wrong with this instrument. In fact, I put it down that um, after 
um, I can I should add one uh, two grams to this initially after one minute it will settle down to 20 that's what I put down here see I already know the limit of this instrument it's off by two grams now if I put this together it's 38 okay so I know already that it's not very uh, accurate instrument when you rely on one or two grams however it can go and measure you know a kilograms no problem and but plus or minus two grams okay but if I wait I think a minute it will bring it up to about 40 grams which is reliable I don't know why these uh, instruments swing back and forth after a minute or so but this is why you need to know your limit of your instrument okay so now I'm gonna go back so I now have these two instrument calibrate probably and I know its limit and I roll it down right so the next thing I want to do is to calibrate something I always wonder about which is water okay let me give you give me a second here because I, I know that the density of water is 1.0 I think it's 1.00 grams per centimeter cube or 1.00 grams uh, milliliter when it's at 25 degrees Celsius so I have a distilled water I'll be back in a second give me a second okay so I have this distilled water I want to figure out if the density of water is you know exactly 1.00 gram uh, per centimeter cube or milliliter. So I have this very precise instrument that can I can use to measure that to verify if that's true or not. So distilled water, you need to use distilled water. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this micro scale electronic balance to see if this micro pipette, uh, transfer pipette they call it, is correct. Okay, 250 microliter. Now I have a distilled water I'm going to be used. I know that distilled water is around 1.00 grams per uh, centimeter cube or 1.00 grams uh, per milliliter. So it's like one milliliter is equal to uh, one gram. So we can, you know, correlate the mass and the volume because water, as long as distilled water, I'm using distilled water, it could be pretty precise up to two decimal places at 25 degrees. Now I'm not sure if this is correct. Uh, 250 microliter. I got this uh, second hand so I want you know even though it's off right I still want to know if it's liable in other words okay let's say it was not 250 let's say it's 300 microliter but it's can it give me consistently 300 microliter because as long as I know that it can give me consistently 300 microliter then you know I I don't care if it's 250 it's, as long as 300 microliter every time I do that injection right uh, transfer the volume of liquid I know it's gonna be 300 microliter okay let's do the the first one okay transfer okay so it's telling me is 0.324 um, grams okay so that's around let's rely only on two decimal remember I told you we can only rely on two decimal places so it's around uh, 320, uh, sorry, 0 0.32 um, grams. So that would be like uh, 320 microliter. So not what you think here. This is 250. It's actually 320 microliter. Try again. Now the next one should be 0.64 if this is true. Okay. Yep. 0.64. You see that? So I know that this instrument is now should be calibrated to as um, 200, 320 microliter. Okay, so 320 micro. Let's do one more time. The next one should be 960. Okay, 0.960. Sorry, 0.960 grams or 960 uh, milligrams. Right. So 0.96. There we go. Okay, close enough. See that? So I can rely to two decimal places for sure. So 320 mic microliter. Now let's do one more. The next number should be 1.28 okay, grams. You see? This this important. It doesn't really matter what this say. If you can calibrate it um, and it's consistent, then you know that you can change it to the value that you usually measure. So in this case, 320 microliter. Okay, so try that. Okay, 
So 1.28. Yep, 1.28. Now the last digit again, I can't rely on that last digit, but according to my measurement, it's 1.28, and then the next one should be 1.6. Okay, six zero. Yep, 1.60. Definitely, I'm going to change the value here to 320 microliter. It's a calibrate according to this uh, micro uh, balance, so it works really well. And the reason I can rely on it because it's consistently giving me that 320 microliter value, right? Even though you know it's saying 250 microliter, it's not correct. It's 320, and it's consistently showing up uh, that every time I inject that uh, distilled water, I'm getting 320 microliter, okay? Assuming the density is 1.00 uh, grams per centimeter cube or milliliter using distilled water, okay? So you can see the application on using a very precise uh, balanced instrument and use that to calibrate other instrument here and especially a very expensive instrument that you bought secondhand, you're not sure if it's uh, correct value or not, but as long as it's able to give you a reliable uh, reading, um, even though it's no, even though it said here 250 microliter, it's actually 320 microliter, but it gives you consistently 320 microliter, you can still use this instrument for your experiment, okay? Not for <laughs> human consumption, but for like a chemistry experiment uh, in at school, right? That's, you can use that and you can rely on it. You can use it for calculation, quantitative chemistry. Okay, thanks for watching educatetube.com.